Well, I'm just wandering the streets of Morristown. It's like four in the morning. I've got to be quiet. Or else I'd yell. I'd yell to wake all these fuckers up. They're all like 89, 90 years old anyway. I mean, I'm downtown, so it's probably the young hipsters. <laughs> and by young hipsters, I mean the 50-year-olds. I mean, they're the young, broken hipsters is what they are. I mean, hell, I... I mean, I never have understood why people don't drink more milk or something for all. If people get osteoporosis and break a hip, I mean, hell. I mean, it can't be because old people are klutzy. I mean, I've been klutzy all my life. I ain't never broken no hip. I broke my back. But, I mean, but that was in a totally unrelated incident where somebody thought it'd be funny to grease the stripper pole before I got on and did my set. I mean, I got $151,000 for that settlement. I mean, because it was not my fault, and I tell you what, I blew a bit of it on slotto tickets. But I would have probably blown through it anyway on something stupid. Scratch-offs or bingo or men. <laughs> uh. But I tell you, these old people, that's all that inhabit this town. I think that's what Morris Town means. Morris is probably some old-ass hag that didn't know no different. It is about 40 degrees outside, or less. I mean, hellfire. I need to run or gallop through the fields or something to get warm. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You see across the street? It says guns and more. Uh, guns and more what? More ammo? I mean, guns are the number one killer of domesticated and not domesticated deer. Number two killer is Volvos. Or my great great grand dearest. She was killed by a Volvo. I mean, splat. But she couldn't really see it. She was so into headlights at the time. I remember I was saying, Lord, great great granny, have a normal fetish, like a sexy one. I mean, at least have a good time. Don't be staring at damn headlights. All she could do was say, like, oh, well, God, there's some new models out, and there's this, the new halogen bulbs is over there, and they make me moist. Ugh. I mean, who really, really is turned on by a headlight? I've never stared at a headlight like that saying, that's some bullshit. It's like one or two deer ruin it for the whole population. I mean, it's like they're Muslim people over in them Muslim Arabic countries. One or two groups uh, get out and take offense to something, then they go all Habibi on everybody. Yeah, 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 to Allah. And then blow themselves up and then blow us up to shit. I mean, I was all upset that one year we had that drought and I couldn't get any Indian corn to chew on, but you didn't see me going out and blowing my dear ass up. I, mean, I was awful upset that year. I mean, I was in a, a rotten mood for like days and days, and that was during my fertile days, too. Look here behind me, I found East Tennessee Diamond. <laughs> it's just like East Tennessee to have one diamond. Cheap ass. Oh, and here to my left, we have Cooper's Variety Mall. I don't see a Hollister or a J.C. Penney's. And do you want me to tell you why? Because they have, like, uh, Peggy Sue's uh, Leisure Suit World and House of Chainsaws by Mac and shit. I was like, a House of Chainsaws? It looks like Shack old Chainsaws. I mean, it looks like a horror film or some shit. This whole town does at night. But you know, I just couldn't sleep last night. I was tossing and turning, counting them sheeps, and uh, I knew a couple of them, but I was laying in my dream like, oh, God. Hey, Bichon, hey, Bichon, Gert. Hey, hey, Trey, call me, Gert. Ugh. I'm about to have to get in the truck before I get arrested, because, you know, they try to arrest you for anything. If you're out, one of the normal people aren't out, you're wrong. In their eyes, at least. I mean, shit. It's on five. I mean, it's breakfast time. These old people have been up and having their over team for a long time now. So if you're going to get anything done illegal, <laughs> you better do it early in, like, Morristown and Maryville and Townsend and them crazy-ass places where they old. 
And so I'm back in the truck, and I just decided to get on out of here. I, there's three Walmarts on the way back home. I'll do the tour of Walmarts, do a slip down and everyone. And hell, I know what you're thinking, because yesterday I did that Walmart uh, thing, presentation or call out or uh, testimony. And I know y'all be thinking like, what the hell are you doing at Walmart? Well, I tell you what, when you go after hours, it ain't bad. First of all, nobody watches the security. <laughs> okay. And second, it's usually cooler at night, especially in the winter times. Uh, so nobody doesn't know naked, half naked, fat people. And it's all it's okay. I'm the only one there. Uh, them, them workers, they're like so stunned when they see a normal person. It's like they ain't never seen one before. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Where is this son of a bitch? He's supposed to be here with my shit a long time ago. I ain't putting up for that fucker tonight. Oh shit. Please disregard that last little bit. Uh, I was not aware the camera was still running, uh, and I was totally talking about Bibles. <laughs>